Today I'm going to show you how to make rubber stamps using some erasers and just a few simple tools. To begin with, trace the size of your eraser onto a piece of scrap paper. For your first stamp, I recommend something simple. Here I'm doing my initials. When making the stamp, you need the inverse image of what you want to print. To accomplish this, we're going to rub the drawing that we've done onto the eraser, which imprints it in reverse. You can always clean it up a little bit more with a pencil to define your outline. To carve the eraser, we're going to make a gouge out of an aluminum can. Be very careful at this stage, as the aluminum is sharp and can cut you. Once the can is opened up, cut off a strip about three quarters of an inch wide and then cut it in two. I like to sharpen the ends of my gouge with a piece of sandpaper. This will really make it cut easier in the eraser. When you get to this point, be very careful because what you're going to have is very sharp and you've got to make sure that you're always cutting away from yourself and that you don't run your finger sideways across this. Uh, you'll cut yourself pretty bad. Although it isn't 100% necessary, I find it a little easier to use these gouges if I attach a handle made out of a popsicle stick. Ready? Yep. Now comes the fun part. Remember, we're carving around the letters. We're not carving the letters out. Notice when I'm carving that I'm pushing the gouge away from me and not towards my fingers. When you're using the gouge, make sure that you always cut by pushing away from your body and your fingers. So if I'm making a cut on this M here, I don't want to push towards my finger because it can jump and hit the end of my finger and cut it. So I'll cut halfway through pushing this way and then I'll turn it around and cut the other half going that way. And that way I never come close to cutting my fingers. Just about any pen will do when inking up your stamp but I've found that highlighters and Crayola pens work the best. The first one never comes out best, but... Remember when you were carving your eraser, you were not carving out what you want to stamp. You're carving out everything around it. And the reason that we're carving out around it is it makes it easier to put the ink exactly where you want it on it. So the biggest mistake I've seen students make is they carve out the letters that they want to print. Just make sure that you outline what you want and you cut around outside of the stuff that you want to stamp. Once you've made your initials, you can begin to experiment with different designs. Here's an example of two different styles of anvil that I did as a logo.
Like everything else that you make, you'll find that the more you practice, the better you get. Have fun!